Did you know the story of how a poor Japanese boy went from babysitting to building one of the most powerful companies on the planet? Today, we dive into the fascinating life of Soichiro Honda, the founder of one of the world's most recognized automotive companies. Honda Motor Company The story begins in 1906 in a small, poverty-stricken village called Tenria Shizuoka, at the foot of Mount Fuji. It was here that Gijei Honda and his wife had their first child, Soichiro Honda. Soichiro's father was a local blacksmith in the village who also repaired bicycles as a side job, while his mother took care of the home and occasionally helped by weaving. Soichiro was raised in difficult financial circumstances. As a result, he lost five of his siblings due to a lack of medical resources. This was one of the reasons that pushed Soichiro to want to escape the miserable life his family was living. One day, when Soichiro was eight years old, he was walking around the village when he suddenly heard a strange noise that caught his attention, and he decided to follow the sound. Until suddenly, he encountered a strange machine rolling on four wheels. This was a Ford Model T. Soichiro was amazed by what he had just witnessed, it was the first car he had ever seen in his life. This experience left a mark that would forever change the way he viewed these new technologies that were astonishing for his time. Later on, he learned to repair bicycles and examine the workings of other types of machines and engines. Soichiro hated the idea of going to school, and instead of seeking a proper education, he spent most of his childhood helping his father repair bicycles. His lack of interest in school severely affected his grades, to the point where he was constantly punished by his father. In 1922, at the age of 15, Soichiro moved to Tokyo to ask for an apprenticeship at a car repair shop called Art Shokai. He figured that since the company was one of the city's most popular automobile workshops, they might need new workers. When he arrived at the shop, the owner could only offer him the job of looking after his young child. Soichiro, disappointed, decided to stay, and the reason was out of shame of returning home as a failure and facing his parents. For the next few months, he barely earned any money, as the only tasks assigned to him were carrying a baby on his back. Over time, the owner could no longer keep up with the high demand of his car business, so he finally called on Soichiro to help. He started with minor tasks and gradually rose through the ranks to become a trusted mechanic. His talent and dedication caught the owner's attention, who decided to teach him not only about mechanical repairs but also the business side of the company. Soichiro worked hard to expand his knowledge and understanding of the trade. It was during this time that he became familiar with a wide variety of cars, including Lincolns, Mercedes, Daimlers, and even several motorcycles that came into the shop. Vehicles in Japan were not very popular at the time. Cars were brought in from abroad, and only wealthy people could afford the luxury of buying one. Soichiro Honda also entered the world of car racing. At that time, motorsports were gaining popularity around Europe, America, and even Japan. In 1923, the Art Shokai shop, with the help of Soichiro, created the shop's most prized car, the Curtis. It was built using the engine of an American biplane called Curtis, along with the chassis of another American car, the Mitchell. In 1924, this car competed in the 5th Japanese Automobile Championship, achieving an impressive first place and involving Soichiro as an accompanying engineer. 
It was a special and very important experience for the 17-year-old. In 1926, Art Shokai expanded and opened a new branch, leaving the young Soichiro, now 21, in charge. However, this repair shop faced problems during its first year. This was largely because people didn't trust leaving their cars with someone so young and new. Soichiro had to survive off cars that other workshops discarded. Still, the young man used all the knowledge and skills he had acquired, and over time, he managed to grow his business successfully. By 1930, the shop had gone from being a one-man operation to having a large workforce that also helped Soichiro build a race car, which he called Hamamatsu. With this, he set a speed record by driving at 7.5 miles per hour, a record that held in Japan for 20 years. In 1937, Soichiro Honda became independent and founded Tokai Seiki, a company focused on manufacturing auto parts and the creation and research to perfect and build piston rings. The work was exhausting and extreme for Soichiro at that time, as he had gone through a series of failures that led him to neglect his mental and physical health. To alleviate some of the work stress and improve his knowledge, Soichiro decided to enroll as a part-time student at the Hamamatsu Industrial Institute to improve his knowledge of metallurgy. It wasn't until 1939 that Toyota contacted Soichiro to manufacture pistons for their company. Unfortunately, the pistons did not meet the manufacturing standards that Toyota demanded. This was a huge disappointment, but Soichiro did not give up. He spent the following years traveling around Japan, visiting companies and universities to improve his knowledge of piston ring manufacturing. Later, Soichiro Honda perfected his designs, and extraordinarily, his new pistons not only passed quality control but also began to receive orders from all over the country. So much so that the company went on to employ around 2,000 people just to keep up with the orders. Everything seemed fine for his new company until 1941, when Japan entered World War II. Soichiro's company fell under the direct control of the Ministry of Munitions. Things went from bad to worse as many of Honda's employees had to leave their jobs to be recruited for military service, and his company began to decline. Soichiro did everything he could to keep his company afloat, but he wasn't prepared for what was to come later. In 1944, air raid sirens intensified in Japan, and it became very clear that the country was heading toward a devastating defeat. His company in Hamamatsu was hit by a bomb, destroying the entire factory. The company would suffer a second disaster when, in January 1945, the Nankai earthquake struck the region, knocking down the second factory Honda had built. Japan finally surrendered in August 1945, but by then, Soichiro had lost almost everything after the war and decided to sell what was left of his company to Toyota for the sum of 450,000 yen. Japan desperately needed to recover economically after the war, and all companies did what they could to start producing again. In 1946, Soichiro also reused his old warehouse to establish the Honda Technical Research Institute, with the sole purpose of finding a way to create a lightweight and cheap vehicle. The original idea was to manufacture motorized bicycles, although the first engine used was too heavy, and the company soon went bankrupt. However, in 1947, Soichiro built a lighter, faster, and quieter engine, which he named the Taipei Motor. Success followed immediately, with orders coming from all over the country, and the Honda brand began to be recognized everywhere. In 
In 1948, Soichiro founded Honda Motor Company with the initial goal of building motorcycles to help mobilize the Japanese people economically. In doing so, Soichiro teamed up with investor Takeo Fujisawa, who provided him with the capital he needed, as well as financial and marketing strategies. This partnership became the foundation upon which Honda Motor was built into one of Japan's most important companies. The first motorized bicycle, the Type A, was powered by Soichiro Honda's first design and was sold until 1951. The Type D, in 1949 was a true motorcycle with a steel stamped frame designed and produced by Honda, featuring a two-stroke, 98 cubic centimeters engine with 3 horsepower and 2.2 kilowatts. This would become the first engine in the Dream Motorcycle series. Later, the Society of Automotive Engineers of Japan included the A and D models in their list of the 240 landmarks of Japanese technology. Soichiro Honda's engineering and marketing skills led Honda Motor Company to enter the U.S. market in 1958, and in 1959, Honda Motorcycles opened its first store in America. It introduced its motorcycle models at a price of just $295, which was a quarter of the price of other American motorcycles, and thanks to its marketing and engineering tactics, it outsold brands like Triumph and Harley-Davidson in their respective local markets. The company's reputation grew when it came to motorcycles. Honda began winning in international competitions, and by the 1960s, it had become the largest motorcycle company in the world. By 1968, it had already sold over 10 million bikes. There was another big dream that Soichiro Honda had been pursuing since he was 8 years old, and it was none other than entering the automotive industry. For this reason, in the early 1960s, Soichiro expanded his industrial activities by fully dedicating himself to the car industry. At that time, Japan already had established companies like Nissan, Toyota, and other companies competing in the tough world of the automobile market. Honda debuted its first car in 1963 with the launch of the T360 Mini Truck, a small but sturdy vehicle. Unfortunately, the T360 never gained much traction. Therefore, it was followed by Honda's first sports car, the S500. This was a two-door car with a four-speed transmission capable of reaching 130 km per hour. It was a small car but very smooth and easy to drive. Sadly, only about 1,300 cars of this model were built, making it one of the rarest cars in the world made by Honda Motors. Soichiro Honda set a goal of winning a Formula One race with a vehicle of his own making. His debut was at the 1,964 Belgian Grand Prix, and it took him only a year to achieve his first victory at the 1965 Mexican Grand Prix. In 1972, Honda Motors focused its attention on building one of the most successful cars in the automotive market, the Honda Civic. This became one of the most popular cars in the world. One of the reasons for its success, especially in European and American markets, was the 1970s oil crisis. During this period, fuel shortages spread worldwide, and to address it, Soichiro Honda devised an entirely new method that allowed people to travel longer distances with their cars without burning much fuel in the engine. By then, Honda was rapidly gaining popularity in the car market, and it was with the Honda Accord that it truly changed the game. This new model had the same fuel efficiency as the Honda Civic but with a moderate size, and thanks to its comfort and interior space, 
the Honda Accord would later become one of the best-selling sedans in automotive history. In the early 1980s, Honda Motor Company was the third largest car manufacturer in Japan, and by the end of the decade, it was the third largest car company in the world. Honda was president of the company until his retirement in 1973, where he remained as director. Accolades came in 1980 when he was awarded the Prince of Asturias Award for Scientific and Technical Research. In 1982, Soichiro Honda was inducted into the Automotive Hall of Fame near Detroit and received a recognition medal for his achievements from the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. This medal is awarded to honor significant contributions in the field of human transportation. In 1983, he was named Supreme Advisor. This position earned him a place among People magazine's 25 Most Intriguing People of 1980, labeling him the Henry Ford of Japan. In 1989, at 77 years old and already retired, Soichiro Honda worked on matters related to the Honda Foundation. He also devoted himself to enjoying life with his wife, Sachi, by flying, skiing, and doing things he hadn't been able to do due to work. On August 5, 1991, Soichiro Honda passed away from liver failure, and the news shook the entire world. Soichiro Honda was posthumously awarded the third degree of the Order of Precedence and named Grand Cordon of the Order of the Rising Sun in Japan. Honda Motors became a billion-dollar company with a global presence in the industrial, automotive, motorcycle, land, air, and watercraft sectors. It has excelled in its fields through efforts to research and develop increasingly efficient and less polluting engines. Today, Honda Motors is one of the largest automotive companies in the world, and its products are renowned for their quality, efficiency, and performance. The story of Soichiro Honda is an example of what can be achieved with hard work, perseverance, and passion. His entrepreneurial spirit and innovative vision inspire us to pursue our dreams and never give up in the face of obstacles. Did Soichiro Honda's story inspire you? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories of successful entrepreneurs. Don't give up, the best is yet to come.